All eyes on Minneapolis today for the start of the Derek Chauvin trial, but proceedings pushed back at least one day as an appeal plays out for the former Minneapolis police officer accused in the death of George Floyd. Protesters gathered outside the courthouse ahead of what was supposed to be the first day of jury selection, but attorneys are still debating whether to reinstate a third-degree murder charge against Chauvin. Chauvin was the officer seen on video kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes, and he's just the first of four former Minneapolis officers facing charges. News Nation correspondent Brian Enton joins us live from Minneapolis with a closer look at what to expect as this trial moves forward, Brian. Yeah, Nicole, everyone was here outside the courthouse and ready to go today. Jury selection, as you mentioned, was supposed to start bright and early this morning, but that did not happen. Things have now been delayed because the prosecution uh, filed a last minute appeal. Take a look. This is video today from inside the courtroom, and you can see uh, former officer Derek Chauvin sitting next to his defense attorney. The prosecutor's uh, uh, appeal has to do with them wanting a third degree murder charge added. The judge said he intends to start the jury selection process tomorrow now, but depending on what the Court of Appeals does next, there could even be further delays. Meanwhile, about 1,000 protesters marched outside the courthouse for George Floyd today. Police say there were no incidents of violence as the National Guard actually patrolled the courthouse. The feeling right now is very peaceful and hopeful, and that's what we want to keep. We don't, Minneapolis does not need to be seen as um, this negative place where George Floyd got killed. It, it is, that's, that we have to live that down. But there are people out here on the streets that genuinely care about our communities. What would be a fair verdict and a fair sentence, in your opinion? Fair, he, he took a life and he should, be, he should go to jail for life, period. Like, that was someone's son, someone's father, you know what I'm saying? Someone's boyfriend, you know, he was, a person. And Nicole, security is so, so tight here in Minneapolis, especially outside the courthouse here downtown. You see they've actually got the National Guard. Uh, you can see that Humvee right there. They've got troops all around the courthouse, plus uh, an increased police presence. There are two layers of fencing with barbed wire in the middle. Uh, police saying they do not want to take any chances and hoping that there will not be uh, any violent riots like what we saw in the summer. So what happens next? Well, everyone is waiting on the Court of Appeals. The judge says he is hoping to start jury selection tomorrow. Once that begins, jury selection alone will take about three weeks. That's before uh, opening arguments can even start. Live in Minneapolis, Brian Enton, News Nation. All right, Brian, thank you.